Hey Scott, uh, Sam Meeker here with Caterpillar. We're uh, excited to show off our new D5s this year, uh, bringing them to, uh, to Con Expo. Uh, you were with us obviously when we launched this tractor in uh, kind of a little bit of a sneak peek at Bauman last year, but really bringing it to Con Expo this year and showing everybody what we've got. So um, the new D5, lots of different areas to focus on and take a look at here. So let me start a little bit with just configuration. So obviously we've got our VPAT configuration here. Uh, we've got an LGP VPAT in this case. So we've got the wider track pads on there, a uh, little bit longer roller frame, a little bit wider blade on this tractor. So that's going to be our, our, uh, our VPAT offering in both a standard gauge and in an LGP gauge. Now we're excited also to be talking about our new D5 with a push arm. So this is something a little new for us. Uh, we previously had a push arm on the old D6N, which is obviously the tractor this replaces, but uh, it was a little bit different config. This is kind of just a baby brother for our D6. Um, it's an L-shaped push arm, got those vertical lift cylinders and that hard nose to hold those, giving us a little bit more pressure up front here, a little bit more weight up front, um, a little bit more of an aggressive blade, uh, great blade penetration here, and uh, a bit more productive as well too. Um, I've run this tractor quite a bit, and I'm telling you, I, I fall in love with it. I think it's just an awesome little, uh, awesome little push and dozer. Uh, so, 5.6 yard blade on there, and um, you know the right amount of ground pressure to really get that blade in the ground to get some good, some good, uh, uh, you know, productivity out of it. So, kind of on that theme, let's kind of work into structures just a little bit. So, um, kind of built up some of the structures of this uh, this tractor a little bit. Again, brand new blade structure, um, you know, heavy duty L-shaped push arm, ready for the hardest uh, the hardest material you want to get into. We've also got our new uh, roller frame on both of these tractors. So again, kind of stole this a little bit from the D6, um, the new D6 and D6 XE program. So it's a similar type of design, um, but just kind of scaled down for that D5 size of tractor. And you could see the same thing here over on the LGP version. So we increased the size of the, the casting here for the pivot shaft, increased the, uh, the, the size and cross section of the tube going all the way back to that. So improving the durability down in here in this, uh, this area of that pivot shaft. So structures are, are definitely something we worked on on this. At the same time on the VPAT dozers, we did quite a bit of work in the area of this C-frame, cleaning up the lines routing, flipped this top cylinder over, lifted it up just a little bit, giving you a lot more room down in there to clean that, uh, clean that mud and clean that material out. And, just making it a lot cleaner area in terms of the um, uh, in terms of the the dozer and that C frame. So, also you can see we've done a nice job of uh, tying all those lines together up front there. Uh, so it wasn't just the hydraulic lines, but we also improved quite a bit uh, on those um, the electric lines going up here as well too. So, by the electric lines, I'm talking about the the, the sensor lines for the Cat Grade 3D system. So uh, all new, uh, larger lines. Uh, larger diameter wires in there, more rugged, more durable, and uh, definitely going to give you really good service on that uh, on that cat grade 3D system and the sensors that are in the front of that. So, um, blade, pretty much the same blade that we had before on the D6N. So really didn't change the design of that. Always been a really nice blade. Good cells, uh, lots of cell depth here. Um, good structure on that blade and um, hard ox moldboard. All right, always had the hard ox moldboards on these guys. So. Definitely a, a nice set of structures on that. So that pretty much covers us in terms of structures on the new D5. Let's kind of transition in just a little bit and start talking about the cab, right? So the new D5, uh, one of the biggest changes to this tractor is the cab. It's got our next-gen cab on here. So we're talking about the same cab that's on the D6 uh, and, and all the next-gen dozers that we've got out here. So um, brand new cab, wider, you know, longer cab. It's got more volume in there. Uh, it's got uh, quite a bit more glass. I believe it's 30% uh, more glass. It's 15 on the D6. I think on the D5, it's like 30. It's quite a bit more. So quite a bit more glass in there. Uh, visibility all the way around. Um, you said excellent visibility on the side there where those fenders slope down. Uh, great visibility across the front. Of course, the next gen cab's got our new uh, air handling system in here as well too. So uh, plenty of uh, plenty of capacity in that air conditioning system. Great big air filter over there and uh, lots of pressurization in the cab, a lot of airflow in there. Of course, air filtering system for all the next gen dozers uh, comes uh, standard as just a, a typical air filter, uh, but you can also get it with a powered air pre-cleaner. And so for waste handling, for forestry applications, wood chip, any high airborne debris, we put a powered air pre-cleaner up there which centrifugally separates the heavy dirt from the air and it only pushes cleaner air into the air filter. So it's a really slick unit. 
easy to service with our uh, ladder on the back here as well too. Um, so great, uh, great, great feature up in there. We can also see our backup camera back here as well too. So uh, standard backup camera on all these dozers. It's that little black camera right up in there in the middle. Now that's an HD camera, it's high def. So it gives you an excellent view of everything behind you there. It even has the lines uh, along there just like your, your pickup truck does to show you where that tractor's backing up. So lots of feature in there. In terms of the, uh, the, the cab, again, next gen seat in there as well too. Canted at a 15 degree angle, gives you great visibility to the front, also great visibility to the back. I, I like that angled seat, I always have. Uh, one of the key reasons is, I kind of joke around this a little bit, but you know, you go, you go forward with a dozer, but almost every push you gotta go backwards too, right? So you need that good visibility towards the rear. Um, and so we, we cant that seat. But we did move that seat a little bit too to keep that operator's head in that center position. So we keep that seat index point in the center of the, of the tractor, giving you great visibility to both corners as well. Next gen seat, tons of adjustments, like 13 adjustments on the seat, you know, for the seat pan, of course, the back air for the ride in there. And then the premium seat in there also has lumbar adjustments on the back of the seat uh, and air lumbar. And then uh, also a heated and cooled option as well too. So fantastic seat, lots of good comfort in that seat. All of these next-gen dozers have our new 10-inch color display in there. It's a touchscreen display. It gives you access to tons of features in the tractor, all of your settings, uh, adjustments, operator uh, ID in there, code to start is in there as well too. And then of course our slope assist and our 2D grade control system is in the main machine monitor. Now, if you do opt for the cat grade 3D system, then you'll get that second monitor down below there as well too. And that's another 10 inch color touchscreen monitor and uh, gives you access to all the cat grade with 3D features. And that's how you run that system. Super easy to run. You know, it's a touch screen, uh, two fingers to swipe, pinch to zoom, um, one click to select something, click and hold to change it. And that's it. That's the four gestures you need to know to run that whole, uh, that whole system. So super easy uh, in terms of the, uh, the operator. So a couple other things on this, and we talk a little bit about the, the ladder back here, right? These dozers have this nice little ladder back here, help you get up and down there, uh, do some fuel in, clean your back window off and whatnot. But also too, I wanna to point out that halo grab iron all the way around the cab. So uh, anywhere you're working around this tractor, anywhere you throw your hand up, you're gonna have a grab iron on there. And to me, that's a, that's a huge deal for safety for these tractors. The light package, this tractor happens to have our 12 light package, so it's got the three wraparound lights in the back, it's got the corners of the cab, two on the nose, and then two on the risers up there as well too. So tons of lighting on this tractor, um, getting you lots of, uh, lots of visibility out there. Our ground level service center, so again this comes on all the machines as well. You've got your disconnect switch, nice big yellow disconnect switch, and it does have a padlock lock at the bottom here. Okay, you've got, uh, this is our lighting system that when you pop those lights on in the morning, it, uh, it kind of helps give you some visibility up and down the, uh, uh, up and down the, uh, the, the uh, tracks of the tractor for getting up and down on that machine there. So got our hour meter in here as well too. So if you want to check hours on this machine, you just push the button there and it shows that up. This also does show you when that tractor is safe to shut down, uh, when the def system has finished purging and whatnot as well too. And then of course for those cold climates, we've got our plug in for our block heater as well too. This is our emergency shutdown switch. So um, we started putting these on machines uh, several years ago, actually, I think maybe 2011 or so. And, uh, and what this will do is shut the tractor down uh, in an emergency. You know, if you've left it idling or something and you see you know, a little oil spewing out of the bottom and you don't want to jump up in the machine, you can just reach up, flick that, shut the tractor down immediately in, in an emergency. So we like to have that on ground level, right? In case you ever need to get to it, you don't have to climb up on the machine to get to it. So pretty slick. So, <clears throat> Some other changes to this machine, you might notice that the hood line is just a little bit lower. So we've got a new cooling system in there, um, a slightly smaller after treatment system, still lasts the life of the engine, uh, but slightly smaller after treatment system and that allowed us to drop that hood down about three inches. So what that did was, is that created, that, that pulled forward that, uh, that you know, basically visibility point about three meters to the front, which is about a 30% improvement in, in visibility right straight off the nose. Also split up the, uh, the air cleaner and the exhaust on both sides and the lights as well too there. So you've got great visibility down the front right off the top of that dash to be able to see what's in front of you there. Of course, awesome visibility down here to your blade, uh, your blade corners, back of the blade as well, giving you good visibility when you're working on this dozer as well too. Let me kind of hit the last thing here, and that's going to be the, uh, the technology on this tractor. So these tractors have a, a flurry of technology on them. It's our latest and greatest in terms of the technology package on this machine. So kind of start with the basic stuff. 
Uh, slope indicate is on all these tractors. There's a sensor in the belly of the tractor and it knows where that tractor is sitting on a slope. So it uh, just gives you a good visual indication that you're going 2% downhill and 3% side slope or 20, 30, 50, whatever you want to go. Right? It's going to give you that nice, uh, n nice indication in the cab. Give that operator a little bit of confidence so he knows exactly where he is on that slope. Stable blade is also on these machines and we're utilizing our new sensor on stable blade so it's a better sensor, it's faster, uh, gives us some more, uh, some more data in there and also we've got a new algorithm with stable blade that helps you be even, uh, even more stable while you're running this machine in manual mode. Now these tractors also have our two dimensional slope assist system and that's going to use the same sensor up here, right? That's our IMU sensor. And what that's going to do is allow you to dial in a slope that you want that blade to go to. When you hit the auto button, the blade will go to that slope and it'll hold it. So let's say you're trying to finish this field off and we want to get a 2% grade downhill. All right? um, I can run it a couple different ways, but I can get that blade down there at my 2%, click it in auto, and it'll hold that blade at 2% and help me cut that, that drainage ditch going downhill to keep that water running in the right direction. Okay? You can also use a, a slope assist where you can set a recall value. So let's say I want to go to 2.5% every, every time or 10% every time. I can dial in 10%. When I click the button, the blade will go to 10%, downhill, uphill, whatever. And even side slope or cross slope, blade slope, it'll dial in that as well too. You can set what you want, click that button, it'll lock in on that and help you to create those, uh, those consistent slopes while you're doing this, uh, this type of work. It doesn't take GPS. It doesn't take a design file, no base station needed. Slope Assist just helps you to make consistent grades and, uh, and do it a little bit faster. So as we kind of work our way up, uh, let's get in and talk a little bit about Cat Grade 3D. That's our 3D grade control system. This tractor has it. In fact, both of them do. Uh, walking around, you haven't seen any antennas or wires hanging out here at all. So we've got the antennas on the back of the cab there, right? Nice gray antenna there. We'll get you up there in a minute, let you take a look. Um, Nice and cleanly built into the back of that tractor. You can't even see it up there. Receivers are behind the seat in the tractor, out of sight, out of mind, you know, out of the weather and out of the elements inside that machine. And then of course we use the sensors throughout the tractor. We've got a blade sensor, we have a C-frame sensor, and then there's a sensor in the back of the tractor. Now those three talk together with those GPS receivers to figure out where that blade is on the job site. Load up your design, get your base station hooked up to it with a radio, and now you've got your cat grade with 3D system all set up and ready to go on your job site. So finished grading, amazing on this tractor, and, and cat grade 3D helps you even do a better job with it, uh, hitting that design. Uh, now that's tied in with our auto carry system as well too, right? One of the features of cat grade with 3D is our auto carry system. What auto carry does is it's gonna use the GPS and sensors in the tractor, the transmission sensor, to figure out if that tractor is slipping Right before the tractor starts to slip, it's going to start to modulate that blade up and down a little bit, pull that blade up as it needs to, to help keep you pushing nice and smooth. Uh, the system works great. Uh, it's super smooth in terms of how it engages, how it controls the blade for you, helps you to get bigger blade loads and therefore a bit more productivity when you're doing that heavy work. So, Some other features that we've added on new with the D5, uh, one is called Blade Load Monitor. So it uses a lot of those same sensors, and what it does is it gives the visual indication on the dash of where the blade load is. And so it's kind of got a green and a yellow and a red area there. So while you're running this dozer, you can see that blade load kind of you know, scroll back and forth on that little display there, on that little graph. And what that does give you a little bit of a feeling of how much, blade, uh, how much load you have on there. Get up into the red, you know you're probably slipping just a little bit too much, and so you can kind of back it off a little bit. So blade load monitor. Another feature on these tractors is traction control. And this is similar to the traction control that we've had on the K family of dozers for quite a while. What that does is it's gonna, again, sense the tracks, uh, compare that to the GPS, see if you're slipping the tracks, and if you are, it's gonna pull down the torque just a little bit to keep you from slipping the tracks. So definitely something to help you be a bit more productive and also uh, reduce your undercarriage wear a little bit too. So tons of technology on this tractor and uh, really excited to be bringing it to market with our brand new D5 here.